Greetings to the viewers of this video. In the last two videos we have seen the calculations related to pharmacy. In this video we can see percentage calculations. Percentage concentration calculations includes four categories. They are 1. Percentage weight in volume. 2. Percentage volume in volume. 3. Percentage volume in weight. 4. Percentage weight in weight. In the category of percentage calculations, we have only the above mentioned pairs. Volume refers to milliliters. In addition, weight refers to milligrams. Keep this in mind, it would be easy for you to understand. Okay. Let us, now, learn each category in a brief manner. Therefore, dear learners are you ready? Okay, let us begin. First, what is percentage weight in volume? It expresses the number of grams of constituent in 100 milliliter of solution or liquid preparation. Already we have seen that weight refers to solid, expressed in grams and volume refers to liquid, expressed in milliliters. I hope you are clear now. Now, moving on to next one. Percentage volume in volume. It expresses the number of milliliters of a constituent in 100 milliliters of solution. Next, percentage volume in weight. It expresses the number of milliliters of a constituent in 100 grams of solution. At last, percentage weight in weight. Expresses the number of grams of a constituent in 100 grams of solution. We have learned the definitions, now if we look at some problems, we can understand this better. Therefore, before going into the problems, we can see what is concentration. Concentration is defined as the ratio of the quantity of a solute divided by quantity of preparation. Now, let us see an example problem for weight by weight. A formula for toothpaste contains 3 percentage weight by weight. Calcium carbonate. How many grams of calcium carbonate would be needed to prepare 15 kilograms of toothpaste? First see the data given. Calcium carbonate 3%. Quantity of preparation is 15 kilograms or 15,000 grams. Solving the problem. In the problem it is given that calcium carbonate is 3 percentage weight by weight. Which means 3 grams divided by 100 grams. We have to prepare 15 kilograms of paste. That is 15,000 grams applying the concentration formula. Quantity of solute divided by quantity of preparation. The concentration is 3 percentage. We know the quantity to be prepared which is 15,000 grams. Now we want to find how many grams solute that is calcium carbonate needed. We can assume this as xx is equal to 3 divided by 100. Multiplied by 15,000. The final answer is 450 grams. So calcium carbonate needed to prepare 15 kilograms of toothpaste is 450 grams. Now we can see another problem for weight by volume. Calculate the quantity of potassium hydroxide to produce 500 milliliters of 1.8 percentage solution. The quantity of preparation is 500 milliliters. And the concentration is 1.8. Applying the concentration formula, we get 1.8 gram divided by 100 milliliters. Quantity of preparation is 500 milliliters. Quantity of solute is X. Solving it we get X is equal to 1.8 divided by 100 multiplied by 500. The final answer is 9 grams. 
Therefore, we need 9 grams of potassium hydroxide to produce 500 milliliters of solution. Now and final problem. What is the amount of sodium hydroxide in 600 milliliters of a 6 in 20 solution? And also find the concentration in percentage. First look at the information. We have 600 milliliters of solution. And another clue is 6 in 20. Refers to 6 grams in 20 milliliters. Which means that for every 20 milliliters of that 600 milliliters, we have 6 g of sodium hydroxide. If we divide 600 by 20 we can get the amount of sodium hydroxide that is 30 grams. In the problem we are asked to find out the concentration in percentage also. We have both quantity of preparation 600 milliliters and quantity of solute 30 grams. So, just by applying it in the formula we can get the concentration. 30 divided by 600 we get 0.05 which is 5 percentage. So finally the total amount of sodium hydroxide is 30 grams, and concentration is 5 percentage. We can just cross check and verify that our answer is correct or not. Thanks for watching.